For the first time in the series, Forza Horizon 4 is a shared world game. Now, it's a big change and a potentially concerning one for some, so let's break down what this all means. First and foremost, it changes the other races you'll see while cruising around the open world. In Forza Horizon 2 and 3, the cars you saw hooning around the environment were what the Forza series dubs Drivatars, AI-powered driver profiles drawn from your friends list and beyond. In Forza Horizon 4, we'll still race against Drivatars when we start an event, but the cars you'll encounter in free roam will now be real people within a 72 player server. The reason developer Playground Games is doing this is because the team believes that real players will exhibit more interesting, more unpredictable and more fun behaviour than they could ever program into Drivatars. I should stress at this point that this isn't compulsory. Forza Horizon 4 isn't an always online game and you don't have to play in the shared world if you don't want to. You can opt out with a push of a button and seamlessly transition into an offline experience that will replace the real people with Drivatars again. According to Playground, this will ultimately be similar to the solo, open world free roaming experience of Forza Horizon 3. But if you are up for it, this is how it works. As you may recall, in Forza Horizon 3 we had Campaign Co-op, which supported 4 players, and Online Free Roam, which supported 12. The problem is, as Playground points out, 12 players isn't enough to make an entire Forza Horizon environment a shared world experience. Allow me to demonstrate why. Take Forza Horizon 3's map for instance, and imagine this can of beer is Service Paradise. This can of beer is the Great Ocean Road. So. We're hooning around Surface Paradise with all the other people on the server, and we decide to journey down to the Great Ocean Road. There'd be nobody there when we get there, and we'd have encountered nobody on the way. Forza Horizon 4 will group players together in groups of 12, based roughly on the area of the world they can see. As a player moves through the world and they approach another player, they'll be grouped into the same universe. Obviously, this all happens below the surface, there's no loading. So, now as you travel through the 72 player world, you'll be moving seamlessly from universe to universe, seeing other players come and go as you drive. Playground's plan is to make Forza Horizon 4 as social as possible. There's now a quick chat system available via the D-pad for players without a mic or who don't speak the same language. We'll also be able to form instant convoys with players met and take part in every race and every activity in up to six player co-op. It also probably goes without saying that, as a shared world experience, whatever happens in the world happens for everyone. Weather, time of day, it's all synchronised. If it rains, everyone is out in it. When the sun sets, everyone sees it together. When the season changes, it changes for everyone. It's all done to reinforce the idea that we're all living and playing in the same space. Okay, neat, but what about the other issues inherent with shared world games? Pausing, griefing, losing connection, all that stuff. Well, Playground seems quietly confident that it's nipped those in the bud. Yes, you can still pause the game while online and resume at whatever velocity you were moving in before pausing. You can still use photo mode and drone mode too, and even the rewind function. No, you can't be griefed by strangers. All players who aren't your friends or in an official convoy with you are automatically ghosted on contact. And no, if you lose your internet connection mid-session, you won't lose any progress or be bumped out to the main menu. Forza Horizon 4 will just transition seamlessly to its offline state and you'll be free to carry on. So, hopefully this has got you up to speed on the functionality and philosophy behind Forza Horizon 4's shared world. For plenty more on Forza Horizon 4, stick with IGN first for the remainder of the month. <laughs>